You know, I am serious about my mustard, so I've decided to come here to Dijon, France to get what I believe is the best kind. Mmm, yum, sharp and delicious. Mustard is not the only thing that can grab your attention here in Dijon. We've arrived at a rather auspicious time, right after our Independence Day, July 4th, and the French version, Bastille Day, July 14th, which is 10 days later. So let's go and check out the festivities, shall we? Sorry, what are you looking at? Jacques up there with the Oh, that, that guy by the clock? Yeah, he, I mean, if he waits 15 minutes, he's gonna ring. I was just wondering, I've never been to Dijon before. Do you know where I could find a guide? You could make a wish for him. A wish for a guide? Okay. This is the owl, our lucky charm, our sort of mascot, emblem of Dijon. No, you can make a wish. Okay. You have to use your left hand. Okay. And all I do is touch it and make a wish. Chouette. It's a cool word. Do you know what? It means cool in French. It means owl and cool? Chouette. I see an owl on the floor here too. This is our trail, that self-guided tour of Dijon. Oh wow, and it's marked by the owl. The Schwetz. Now I see a black cat up on the roof there. Some people believe that if you touch the owl and then go in front of the cat afterward, it cancels your wish. Oh, all right, well, then we better watch out. Let's go the other way. I like my culture just like I like my mustard. Sharp, spicy, and sophisticated. And I'm sure what I'm gonna find here at the Museum of Fine Arts will more than surpass my expectations. Dan, the translator. <laughs> nice to meet you. So what are we looking at here? Oh, we are looking at the tomb of uh, Philippe the Bold. He has uh, his eyes open. As Why? For the moment of the resurrection. Are all of these sculptures um, separate or are they all connected? They are making a kind of procession. Everyone gives an idea of mourning, of sorrow, of uh, praying. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this guy with yes, his hands, he's, he's, he's crying. He's stopping oh, crying. wow. Unbelievable. I've heard this described as the most profound expression of mourning known in art a funeral march in stone. But remember, I came to Dijon for Bastille Day. Let's see if the French really do know how to throw a good party. What is going on here? What is this what festival? What is going on? This is the 414 festival for the 4th of July, Independence American, and for the 14th of July, which is for Bastille Day. What is the typical taste of a classic Dijon mustard? It's strong. Strong. Hard. Hard and strong, not sweet. Already that's probably too yeah. much. <laughs> it's so different that the grape Right, Right. Uh. I taste, if you taste, mm. do it in the US, bring my jar and grape popcorn jar. Make a test. And, and this will... tastes different, yeah. And it's so different. You can feel it right here, yes, you know. Yes, yes. The tingle. Cassis. Uh, Sun-dried tomato, parmesan and basil. I know I'm going to be missing this back home. I better take them all. Turns out the French actually do know how to party. The Cat Quatorze Festival, or the 414 Festival here in Dijon, France, is a really original way to honor both American and French independence. Because the goal of the festival is to celebrate the music, food, and fun of both countries. Here I have a charolaise with mustard, of course. This is great. With all the celebrating going on, on both sides of the Atlantic, the first half of July is steeped in celebration. Oh. 